strikes, then protests, then strikes, then more protests. If it is not primary and secondary school teachers on the streets, it's aviation workers downing their tools tomorrow. And if it is not health workers striking the day after tomorrow, it is public university lecturers staying away from lecture rooms the day after. And TV's David Modoka looks at how the country has changed into an arena for nationwide protests and strikes, with the pressure set to increase even more in the coming weeks. Thursday morning, traders who had vowed to stay put at Wakulima Market in downtown Nairobi, popularly known as Marikiti, despite the expiry of a notice to vacate, had to run for their lives after police officers descended on the market with water cannons and tear gas canisters. When normalcy returned, the police began to clear the mess left behind by the protesting traders. Traders up in arms against the Nairobi City County government's decision to kick them out from the age-old Marikiti market without involving them. Having sold nothing all day, the traders who prefer Marikiti to the Kangundo Road market where City Hall wants to relocate them and where they are afraid they will not get space lashed out at Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja. Kirero was there. He tried to grab this market. Akashindwa. So, so Who are you? Akataka ku grab the market. Who are you? Sakaja, where ni nani? Harry Kirero. Leo unambi watu watoke hiyo fujo yote. Hakuna haja fujo. Wewe e mwenyewe dilete hapa. Aonge na raia. Wale wa mama wafanya biashara. Lazima asla wenyewe sasa. On Thursday afternoon, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa sent a message to Governor Sakaja with whom he has previously not seen eye to eye. Through a Facebook post, the country's second in command appealed to Sakaja to listen to the traders by stating, and I quote, My younger brother, Governor Johnson Sakaja, these traders gave you their trust and vote and it is only fair you give them an ear. Sakanja replied to Gashagwa almost immediately, telling Gashagwa, and I quote, My elder brother, His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa, you have my number. End of quote. <laughs> While Gashagwa and some of the traders targeted Governor Sakaja, other traders had a bone to chew with President William Ruto over their eviction from Marikiti. The Wakulima market protests came just hours after an 18-hour strike at the country's major airports by aviation workers over Adani Group's takeover of JKIA was called off and planes that had been grounded returned to familiar skies. The protests also came just days after university students were on the streets over the newly proposed university funding model slightly more than a week after teachers returned to the classrooms to end a week-long strike and almost a month after the Gen Z's went for a cooling break. All these protests could however be cut in razors to more intense industrial action from different sectors planned to begin next week. First on the streets will be public university lecturers who have announced that their strike over allowances will kick off on Wednesday. The don'ts are expected to be followed by health workers 24 hours later after the health workers said that they will be dropping their tools for the second time this year on Thursday so as to push the government to implement its May promise to health workers. David Muthoka, NTV, Nairobi.